Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Air Force currently operates a fleet of 259 Su-30 MK fighter jets which forms its backbone. It is a 4.5th generation aircraft which is famous for its long endurance and complex maneuvers at both high speeds and low speeds which also includes the iconic vertical Charlie maneuver. The aircraft has capability of air to air refueling and can carry out very long range endurance missions. It is also integrated with weapons such as Brahmos, Rudram 1, Astra Mark 1, SAW, and many more, which makes it the most lethal aircraft in its class. In future, it will be integrated with more deadly weapons such as Astra Mark 2 and 3 and Rudram 2 and 3. Now, in order to further boost the capability of Su 30 MKI, on 15 September 2023, the Defense Acquisition Council has further approved the acquisition of 12 more Su 30 MKIs, and these aircrafts will be the most modern fighter jet equipped with Indian weapons and sensors. It will include more than 60% of indigenous content. Apart from additional Su 30 MKI order, the AON for upgrade of 84 Su-30 MKI was granted by DAC on 30th November 2023. Now, talking about Su-30 MKI upgrade, it is aimed to enhance the aircraft's capability with new radars, mission control systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and integration of new weapon system. Indian Air Force is also planning to extend the service life of Su-30 MKI by more than 20 years. The service life of fighter jets is extended by carrying out extensive tests on the airframe and other parts of the aircraft. And Air Force has already experience with these kind of upgrades. This will also help Air Force to maintain the fleet of Su-30 MKI around the period of 2045 to 2050. On 20th February 2023. The Economic Times has reported that Air Force anticipate commencing work on integrating new systems within this year. The project would see a significant involvement from both private sector and HL being the lead integrator. The project is divided into two phases, the first focusing on installing new avionics and radars, while the second phase concentrates on flight control system. The indigenous system will replace several Russian origin components, reflecting India's push towards the self-reliance and defense. The key upgrade includes installation of new indigenous radar system to enhance target detection and engagement capabilities. Addressing previous concerns about radar performance, this will boost the aircraft performance. Additionally, the aircraft will be equipped with new electronic warfare system to counter incoming threats and disrupt the enemy's communication. In July 2024, the Times of India has reported that India is now almost finalized the draft note for Su-30 MK upgrade for approval from PM-led Cabinet Committee on Security. The upgrade of first batch of 84 Su-30 MKI is going to cost around 63,000 crore rupees, which will include design and development as well, and will take 15 years to complete. After the CCS approval on funding, it will take seven years for development and flight testing. The upgraded Su-30 MKI will be close to 5th generation aircraft except for stealth. It will feature manned and unmanned teaming capability which will enable it to operate advanced autonomous drones using data links and AI. It will feature new upgraded AEC radar which is going to increase the detection range by 1.5 to 1.7 times. The upgraded jet will feature indigenous fly-by-wire system and other electronics such as all three mission computers with better algorithms. Overall, 51 systems are planned to be upgraded, which includes 30 by HL, 13 by DRDO, and 8 by private sector. These upgrades will increase the intelligence content in the aircraft to 78%. As per the 19th October report from ANI, the Su-30 MKI is going to be integrated with indigenous radar, which is now being called as Viru Paksha. This radar is going to be a derivative of Uttam Ace radar which has been already developed by DRDO but will be more powerful. This radar will feature nearly 1912 to 2048 TR modules making it an absolute beast in the air. Apart from Ace radar, many other important components have been planned to be integrated with the fighter jet regarding which we will discuss.
DRDO is also developing advanced self-protection jammer ASPJ based on gallium nitride. The ASPJ is based on active phased array APA ultra wide band DRFM that is digital radio frequency memory and inbuilt cooling system. The DRFM based jammers are famous for their capability to severely degrade the adversaries radar and missile seekers. The DRDO ASPJ can take input from Dhruti radar warning receiver and jam the source of the RF signal which could be a missile or could be other radars. The cooling system which is part of the ASPJ is very important component and has been completely indigenized. The ASPJ which is designed for Su-30 MKI is a podded jammer and it will be installed on the wing tip station 11 and 12 in LH and RH configuration as a set. As per latest update from DIDO, the development of pod structure is complete and it is undergoing the qualification. The next upgrade which is already in its midway is Dhruti Radar Warning Receiver. Back in August 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with Rs 1000 crore project for the upgrade of RWR for the fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. On March 23, 2023, MOD has signed a contract with BEL for approximately 950 crore rupees for 129 DR-118 radar warning receiver for Su-30 MKI. The Dhruti DR-118 is a 6-channel next-generation digital radar warning receiver designed and developed for installation on any fighter jet, transport aircraft or helicopters. It intercepts and identifies airborne, shipborne and ground-based acquisition, target tracking and missile guidance radars up to the J-band frequency. The identified emitters that is radars are indicated to the air crew by displaying corresponding set of symbols on the corresponding multifunction display page in the cockpits. A synthesized audio warning is also provided to the air crew at the birth of each emitter signal. The next very important update is regarding IRST. The process started in May 2018 when the Defense Equation Council has accorded approval for undertaking design and development of a long-range dual-band infrared imaging search and track system for Su-30 MKI under MAKE-2 subcategory and subsequently for procurement of 100 IRST under by indian IDDM category. In April 2022, HAL and BEL signed a contract for the co-development and co-production of long-range dual band indigenous irst system for su-30 mki the proposed irst system will be a high-end strategic technology product and it will feature television day camera infrared and laser sensors in a single window for air to air and air to ground target tracking and localization it will be much superior than existing russian irst on su-30 mki the design and development of IRST may take another two years. The new IRST will further enhance the long-range passive attack capabilities of Su-30 MKI and guide the infrared missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.